Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for unboxing and review. Uh, this comes in this quite exquisite uh, pen box uh, with a lovely uh, silver clasp here. Now if I, uh, I'm going to try and lift this clasp and then I'm going to open the lid. And you'll see it says Yarder Lead there. Yarder Lead England there as well. And it comes with a care guide uh, from the Yard Lead Pencil Company Limited in Birmingham. Uh, you can see that this was purchased uh, from the pen shop there in uh, London Airport Gatwick. Um, but it also tells you how to sort of use your pen or pencil. Um, so it comes with this care guide. And... It also comes with this silver ruler as well, which I think is actually a nice touch. Uh, and then it comes with uh, the pen. And I'm going to just remove uh, the box so I can show you the pen in all its uh, detail. So this is the Yarder Lead, and it's a Grand. Uh, it's not the Victorian, it's the Barley or Barley Corn. Uh, but this is a beautiful pen, and you can see there uh, it does have... Um, the sort of writing there uh, in terms of the hallmarks. So it's 925 silver, uh, sterling silver, and you can also uh, make out there as well some further writing there. Uh, and you'll see that the cap finial is blank and then the blind cap is blank, uh, but it comes with this beautiful uh, barley or barley corn pattern there. Uh, it also has the Yarder Lead uh, clip as well. And um, you can really see that this pen is, is a nice pen. Uh, it's not a screw on. It is a push to clip. So if I remove it there, you'll see uh, it does come with a um, Bok made nib uh, for Yarder Lead. And this one is a medium nib that I picked this pen up for. Uh, this uh, is uh, this was a pen I uh, picked up from Dylan Stevens. Uh, he had both the Grand Victorian and the Grand Barley, so I picked both of these up, and I think it was about a year or eighteen months ago. Um, can I post the cap? I can, and it posts very deeply and securely. Does not feel back weighted whatsoever. It really feels uh, like a nice, uh, nice weight of pen. If I unscrew the section, you are going to see comes with a converter there, and that converter is almost empty. Uh, I'm going to need to re-ink this because I have been writing with it. Uh, but this really is uh, a very nice size in the hand of my uh, in the size of my hand there, but it's also a nice weight as well. You don't need to post a cap, but you definitely can if you wish so. Um, these are sterling silver pens. They are not light pens. Uh, they are not the heaviest pen that I have in my collection, but they are still quite weighty. Uh, the sections are not concave. Uh, you do have a little bit of fluting out at the bottom, but they are quite tapered down towards the nib. I'm not necessarily a fan of that type of section. I really prefer more the concave sections, uh, but... I do find that these are actually quite comfortable to write with, but I do find that my fingers do start to slip a little bit down towards the near being a silver section. Um, but this is a beautiful pen. I'm glad that I picked this up when I did, along with the Grand Victorian as well. Um, I do like the barley corn pattern here. It really is quite an interesting pattern there. Uh, so, very glad that I, I picked this up. I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So, the full length of the pen, we are looking about 140, about 150 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we're looking about 62 millimeters in length. And we'll... Try not to have the pen roll. Uh, the length of the body to the tip of the nib or tip of the tines, we are looking at 
about 140 millimeters in length. So that is actually quite a good size. And also you can see that there in my hand. Uh, but it really is a, a beautiful pen. I think with that, let's do a weight check. Now, I did say that this isn't a, uh, a light pen. So the weight of the pen, we're looking at just under 67 grams. And I'd say it's almost uninked because uh, the cartridge is almost empty there, or the converter. The weight of the cap, we're looking at just over 19 grams in weight. And then the weight of the body, if I can make sure that it doesn't roll, we're looking at just under 47 and a half grams in weight. So that is quite a weighty pen. It's not a lightweight pen, but equally it's not the heaviest pen that I have in uh, my pen collection. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue, a Pelican M800, and this is a Grand Place. We have a Cross Peerless 125. We have a Conway Stewart Coronation in Sterling Silver. We have the Yardo Lead Grand Barley or Barleycorn. We have a Yardo Lead Grand Victorian, and these are all in Sterling Silver. We have a uh, Parker made Classic Pen CP5 in the Vintage. We have a uh, Montegrappa Extra 1930 in the Striped Zebra. We have a Montegrappa Extra Otto in the Pearl Grey Celluloid. And we have a Montegrappa Extra High Tech. So I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So this is the Yard of Lead Grand and it's the Barley or Barley Corn. And this has a medium and it has an 18 cat gold nib. Uh, the ink today is a KWZ and it is grass green. Now, in terms of line variation, I would definitely say we are getting about a medium western line there. Slight uh, skip there. Um, if I press a little bit harder, I'm getting towards a broad. But you can see there the, the figure of eights. And then more vertical lines. There really aren't uh, any other hard starts or skips. Uh, I think in terms of ink wetness, let's take a look. So this is... Uh, quite a wet nib. Uh, it's not a fire hose of a nib, but it still is quite wet. Uh, what do I like? What do I not like uh, about this pen? Oh, well, I love that it's a yard of lead. I've been wanting some yard of leads for a number of years now. Really glad that I was able to pick up both the Grand Victorian and the Grand Barley uh, at the same time. I picked them up used or second hand. I didn't buy brand new. Um, I like that this is a medium nib. The Victorian version I got in a fine nib. Uh, I'm not as keen with the fine nib as I am with the medium nib. Um, what else do I like about the pen? Well, I like it's a sterling silver. I like it's a yard of lead. Um, I really do like the pen. Um, there really isn't anything that I dislike about this pen. I guess the only niggly part I would say is I'm not normally a fan of push-to-click caps. Uh, I'm more uh, into threaded or screw caps on pens um, just because I find that they don't dry out as much as a push-to-click um, and they don't wear down that connection either um, where sometimes these can uh, become a little bit more looser over time. But that's really the only thing that I would say that I really maybe dislike. If I had the choice, I'd go with a screw thread on the caps. But I know Yard of Lead does, don't do that. They only do the push to click. Um, it's just historically that's what they, they, they're known for. But 
I love this pen. I love that I was able to add it to my collection. It really is a nice pen. Um, silver pens do tarnish over time, so you do need to use a polishing cloth. Uh, I have a polishing cloth here, uh, and uh, you can pick these up from anywhere. Um, but you'll see there that the tarnish rubs off as a little bit of a blackness there. But the pens will polish up really nice. So you have the option of having them polished nice and shiny. Or if you like the, the tarnish or the patina, then you can just leave them to, to tarnish over time. And they will become a little bit more duller and darker. Uh, I, I prefer to have my silver polished. So I do polish my silver pens quite a lot. Um, and it, you can wear down them over time if you polish over polish them. But uh, I would say that I do not over polish my pens. So uh, that also doesn't worry me. So there you have it. That's my unboxing and review of the Yard Lead Grand Barley or Barley Corn in a medium 18 karat gold nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.